Obviously, I think Tom and Aaron are, you know, the backbone of the show. Um, I have no idea where they're going to go and what changes they want to make and and why and how these decisions were made. I know that you have become family with a lot of the members of Dancing with the Stars since you were on the show. And, you know, you've been back so many times and everybody loves having you there. I mean, what was your reaction when you heard about Tom and Aaron? Because it's definitely a, a shocking situation. Yes, I mean, I, I've uh, I've texted back and forth with Tom. Mm -hmm. um, you know, look, I, I would have never made that decision. Obviously, I think Tom and Aaron are, you know, the backbone of the show. Um, I have no idea where they're going to go and what changes they want to make and, and why and how these decisions were made. Um, but I think, you know, people like myself will absolutely miss Tom and Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, it'll be hard for me to see the show in whatever new form it is. You know, sometimes I look at things and I say, why don't we just make a new show? Right, yeah. And then just make that show. Mm -hmm. um, and then cancel the one that, you know, that you're that you're chopping up, yeah. right? We, we love Tom. And Tom, to me, is the best host on television. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for me to, 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 you know, I definitely wish Tyra the best. I mean, you know, I've Tyra got kind of her start um, uh, in acting on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And I went to school, with grade school with, 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 with Tyra. So I'm hoping that, that she does a great job. Um, but it's, it's hard. It's going to be hard for me to watch it without Tom in there. Yeah. Do you think you will watch it? I will, of course, to tune in to watch my yeah. other friends. Yeah. Um, because it's not, you know, those are not my only friends on the show. So I will tune in to watch and support them. Um, but it will be, it will be hard to do it. Yeah. I mean, were you approached ever to host the show? I mean, it seems like you would be like the, you know, the perfect next choice. <laughs> well, I, I thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, if uh, if if the circumstances were very different. Um, that might have been something that I might have been interested in doing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I certainly would not have been interested in in Tom being fired and me being hired mm -hmm. uh, to do it. I mean, I, I already took over for him on AFV. I can't do all of his gigs. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, um, and, and at the end of the day, AFV was not a firing. It was him leaving, and that's but, what made yeah. it possible for me to go. I never want to take someone's job like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that has nothing. To to do with whoever you're hiring, of course, but because I'm so close to it, um, it just wouldn't have felt right to do it. Approach me, I didn't have anything. Do you have yeah. any advice for Tyra kind of going into this? You know, you've been around the show so much, you're, you know, a friendly face and you kind of know the inner workings of how to make a great host. You know, in terms of the, the on camera thing, I mean, all that I'll say is the reason why Tom and Aaron are so great at what they do is they make it about the dancers and the contestants and the judges. It's not about the hosts, right? right? It's just, you are a traffic cop taking the audience on a journey from one place to the next. And that's why Tom was so great as the prime traffic cop on that show is it was such a gentle, easy move from segment to segment, and you felt warm. Mm -hmm. Make it warm, be yourself. You can't be anybody but yourself. Don't try to be something that you're not. Be yourself, and hopefully the audience will um, will connect to you. Um, I'm sure, the, you know, 15 years is a long time for people to connect with, with Tom specifically. Um, so it will be hard to to get those people to fall in love with you, but but you can all you can do is do you, and mm -hmm. and hopefully that works for her and for everyone. Right. Uh, well. Do you think the show needed any shakeups, or do you? I mean, I know they've been kind of making some changes throughout the past couple of years to kind of shake up the format a little bit and things like that. Well, I certainly I didn't think so. Yeah. Um, I felt like you know if anything, uh, you know the show is always based purely on the celebrities, right? Mm -hmm. right? You get a great group of celebrities to do the show, you get better ratings. Like that's just kind of what, what the show is, right? Oh. Um, I think it's hard to have a show do 30 seasons or whatever, 29 seasons, and have the best celebrities year after year. It's just right. a harder thing to do. 
and especially now that it's you know one time a year versus two times a year um you probably get you know more opportunities at those celebrities but scheduling has to work right mm -hmm. and so it's just a hard thing to do I, I i didn't think the show needed to to change of course it did reach a point where we're starting to run its course right. um and the ratings were kind of showing it and of course it's an expensive show to produce with the numbers that it was getting but to me it was how do we get how do we get interesting cool storylines mm -hmm. um to come in there and and be special right it's all about the storylines